Hey guys, I'm Tyson Hunter and these are videos dedicated to helping people learn how to body surf and improve if you already know how to body surf your body surfing technique so you can catch more waves and have more fun out in the water in the end. Alright, so in today's video we're going to go through just how to catch a wave. So in today's video I want to take a few clips that I have of myself in a few different situations and we're going to walk through little bits and pieces of each one and different techniques that I use in each one because in the in the end every single wave is going to be a little bit different and every wave is unique and so that means your approach to that wave is going to be a little different and a little unique and you're going to have to adjust and do things a little bit differently but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to take some general ideas or general waves and we're going to see the different techniques that I've used to to be able to get into those waves, gain speed, and have a good position on it. And hopefully in turn it'll be good for you guys to see those and see those situations and be able to read it a little bit better when you're in those same situations. So let's get to it. start I want to talk about equipment. So with that a lot of people use fins. I know some beach breaks you don't have to use fins and there's other spots where you have to wear fins because the lifeguards will kick you out. Not everybody use one but I like to and that's a hand plane. I think it gives more lift and more control overall. So first I want to give an example of a wave where I caught it nice and early. As you can see it's pretty slopey and I'm kicking as hard as I can. I also want you guys to notice the position of my arm and that it's already set with the hand plane so that I have a nice high line already going into the wave because I have the speed that I need. And there you can see that I have my line set and I'm cruising. So here's an example of another slopey wave but a different approach to catch it. So you can see I'm kicking as hard as I can. You see my arm comes forward and actually rests on my hand plane and I put more weight of my weight forward so I can go faster. I apologize for the pull that's there. And with good technique you'll have lots of speed and be able to do tricks like this. Be able to stay in the wave and cruise along. So now I want to show you guys a heavier set wave and taking off pretty much underneath the lip. So here you can see I'm already looking down the line and seeing where I want to go. I don't have to kick anymore and the wave is taking me. From here I position my body kind of like a surfboard rail would. Putting yourself diagonal like that actually gives you more lift and stops you from going over the falls and getting hit by the lip. Nice and safe in the barrel. So this wave that we're going to look at is also from the same day of the last wave we just looked at. It's, it was a big day at Waimea. And something I just wanted to mention real quick is that body surfing, you generally are going to sit in a deeper spot than you would surfing because you, you need more push from the wave to be able to get into the wave. And also, you're, you don't have to stand up on a board or anything like that. So it's a lot easier to maneuver in those deeper spots. So what I do here is I start kicking as hard as I can so I can avoid being caught up in the lip of the wave. And I'm also already angling myself down the wave. So here you can see my one of my arms is up in the air, kind of like that. And that actually helps me to angle my body and put the weight on the hand plane. And that's when the hand plane really comes in handy because you can see my chest is up out of the water. I have a nice line and i am got good vision in the barrel. So this was a smaller day at Point Panics. And this is going to be an example of a wave where the wave is already crashing and you kind of are sneaking into the pocket of the wave to catch the wave and ride it on through. There's also a part in this wave where I mess up and I lose speed and I can show you guys where I messed up. So right here I turn around last minute and then I kick with everything I have and I also go in with my other arm. And something I want you to notice is the sweet spot. Right here is where the wave is breaking just to the right of me, not on top of me. And you can see that there's still some face of the wave and some crest where it looks like it's about to break a little bit more. 
and I'm just in a pocket where it has enough power to push me. Now this is where I go wrong. I could have angled my body a little bit more to stay higher up on the wave. Because the higher up, the more speed you'll have to be able to make the wave and go faster. So I'm too far down on the wave and I don't have enough speed to pull off this trick that I try. Thanks for following along guys. This was Body Surfing's Quick Tips and Tricks and I hope you guys enjoyed and can catch more waves and have more fun out there. So thanks for watching. Thank you.